Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how we make horchata. This is a really easy, um, sweet drink. It's a rice and cinnamon drink, a pretty classic traditional Mexican drink. And today, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So stay tuned if you're interested in seeing it. Perfect. I needed some non-copyrighted music, but I couldn't find any. So I had to make my own, and I have no idea what I'm doing. This is what we're going to need for today's video. This is one cup of rice and I soaked it overnight in the fridge with about a quarter teaspoon of cardamom and I just used the seeds. I love cardamom. You don't need it for this recipe but we really really love it. So as with any other recipe, add whatever you like and omit whatever you don't like. And then I also have in here a half stick of cinnamon and yes I know this is not the real cinnamon this is the quesia but it's still yet the same thing it's a little bit cheaper and um, safe for use unless you're using for medicinal purposes then you want to make sure you get the real cinnamon because in higher doses it's not as safe anyways that's besides the point um, I'm gonna need a can of sweetened condensed milk and I do make my own but I just didn't feel like doing it I found this in the cupboard so um, you can check out that video if you're interested if you don't have that on hand it's really easy to make your own basically you can start with milk or it's easier if you start with the um, evaporated milk and you would want to put in about one cup and one tablespoon of sugar and one can of these and reduce it down so this I had soaking in my fridge overnight and so I'm going to add this right into the blender. Sometimes making horchata can be a little bit hard in a sense that you're supposed to soak your cup of rice overnight or at least for four hours so that the, um, the rice can get a little bit softer but I have done this without soaking the rice what happens is it, it just leaves a lot more of the pulp behind which i'm fine with because i use it sometimes as an exfoliator rice is really good for your skin and cinnamon also um, helps with circulation and stuff like that so i i do I, i'll save the pulp and I'll, the pulp and i'll use that as, as um, an exfoliator So that was one cup of rice and I'm going to get about another cup of water. And I'm just going to blend that up. And then I'll put this strainer over here and we're going to strain all of this. And this is why we soak the rice overnight because it's really not going to leave too much pulp behind. But you don't have to strain it, it will just leave more pulp behind. I mean you don't have to soak it overnight but if you don't then it'll just leave more pulp behind. So then after when the strainer fills up like this, you can just take your spoon and help it through and you can see that what's mostly getting caught is the cinnamon and because that's a more harder than the rice. So that's what's mostly getting left behind and the rice is actually not really here. All right, now that this is all mostly strained through, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to my blender to get all that creamy rice milk and cinnamon out, and I'm gonna pour it through the strainer so that we can get every last bit of flavor from our um, mixture. I'm seeing hardly left any 
hardly left anything behind. That's mostly from the cinnamon. So when you soak your rice like that, then it'll mostly all puree out. Next, we add the leche condensada. If you don't have the leche condensada, the sweetened condensed milk, it's really simple to make your own. And if you don't feel like making your own, you can just use regular milk and sugar. It will still be fine, but this just gives it a richer flavor. However, when you blend the rice, it gives a creamy texture as well. So there's so many ways to make it. This is just one way. And I, and I make it different all the time. Sometimes I just make it with almond milk and honey. And whatever you have in your cupboards, this is such an easy thing to do. There's so many variations. The evaporated milk. Also with this mixture, be sure to check your sugar because we like a little bit reduced sugar. So you might want to add a little bit more sugar if you like a sweeter drink, but we tend to stay away from too sweet of stuff, but this is a nice treat. This is sweet. But I know some people might like it, like my mother-in-law, she likes it really, really sweet. So be sure to check your sugar to see if the condensed milk is going to be enough for you. So that was about another cup of water that I added. And we're going to stir this. The ice that I added, I'm counting as water because the milks are room temperature. They, the ice is going to melt, so I'm just trying to qu chill it quickly. can see how creamy that is. And I have done this with almond milk and honey before. It comes out just as good. Just basically soak the rice and cinnamon. And there you have it. And that is it guys, the kids are going to be happy with this horchata, they love it. I hope you guys like the recipe as well. Please don't forget to leave your comments down below, thumbs up if you like the video, and subscribe if you haven't already, and if you like the videos that I do, and thank you so much for watching. Perfect. I needed some non-copyrighted music, but I couldn't find any, so I had to make my own, and I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs>